In this video we reach the culmination of our work from the last few videos. We'll add the slideshow widget from our custom widget library to a project file. We'll then summarize what we learnt about managing design assets with the various methods available in Axure. Now uh, we'll open a fresh project file. Down in the widgets palette we'll find our My Widgets custom library. If it's not there just choose load library or maybe it's not showing the latest version of our slideshow widget so if that is the case choose refresh from the widgets menu. Let's drag out our slideshow widget. Now we get presented with a dialog very similar to what we just encountered the import wizard. Because the styles do not exist in this file Axia is asking you to confirm what you want to import. This makes a lot of sense because you could have some conflicts with the style names. I'm going to click on finish now and import these styles and there we go. You have just learnt an awful lot about managing your design between projects. Okay so what's worth noting here is that widget libraries can be used for more than just storing widgets. You can also store and import HTML prototype and documentation configurations which you may use across all of your projects uh, and all of the annotation structures that we set up uh, for our different audiences. You can generate Word documentation from our widget library that clearly documents the unique design objects that we use in our project, sometimes called a style guide. These can be passed on to designers for clear documentation on what they need to design instead of having to trawl through dozens of wireframes and several projects. Uh, okay, moving swiftly on. Okay, next we will look at creating team project files. So a team of designers can work on the same project simultaneously. 